I'm going to show you how to add a proportional area chart to a PowerPoint presentation using the Engage add-in. Uh, but first, I just want to make sure that you have the Engage tab selected at the top. And from there, you'll see the Infographics button if you click on that. If you scroll down, you'll notice here, Proportional Area Chart. If you select that and click Insert, it'll create uh, the chart. And you can select different shapes. There's circles, squares, rounded squares, uh, triangles, diamonds. Um, regardless of which shape you choose, um, the system will automatically calculate the correct um, surface area for each shape so that it's perfectly proportioned. Um, so if I click on this Edit Data button, you'll notice the uh, Excel worksheet open. And this is where you uh, can update the data. So there's three columns. There's the Label column and the Area Value column and the Fill value. So it lets you uh, add a label. So this is what will appear if you desire in the shape. So in this case, I have um, 500 million revenue and 45 net margin, 45% uh, net margin rather. And then column B is the area value. So this is the um, uh, what will drive the actual size of the shape. And then the second dimension of data is the fill value. So this is what will drive the color of the shape. So uh, you can see here, uh, column B represents, in this case, revenue, and column C represents um, margin. So what I'm gonna do here is I can, because this is like uh, just regular PowerPoint, I'll just select my three columns and I'll sort them um, by order of uh, revenue. So column B. So I'll sort by uh, area value uh, from largest to smallest. And um, I'll go ahead and uh, close this. Uh, because it's an Excel embedded worksheet, I don't need to save it. Uh, I can just close it and it will automatically get saved in the um, PowerPoint presentation. So as it's recalculating, um, I should just mention um, a common error when people uh, build these is uh, if the uh, diameter of a circle is, uh, for example, uh, five pixels um, and uh, they want to draw another uh, circle next to it that's proportioned to it and uh, twice as big, they'll just do a radius of, uh, or sorry, a diameter of 10. And so they just double the diameter um, but that's not uh, how that works. The formula really is, um, just thinking back to uh, high school math here, is uh, pi times r squared, so r being the radius. So um, if uh, you do fall in that trap, uh, basically you are um, over-representing the proportional differences exponentially. Uh, so that's just something to keep in mind. Or you could just use this and not worry about it. And so uh, this will uh, calculate the correct um, sizes for you. Um, so a couple other options you have here. The first is um, the color. So you can change the color of the shapes. Um, you can change the ranges. Uh, so in this case, there's three values and ranges. But if you had a large data set and uh, you will only wanted to show uh, projects uh, that had uh, a margin of uh, no greater than uh, 30%, you could just click on the fixed and um, put uh, the limiting uh, value here. And then you notice these two now become out of range because they're over 30%. And you can also color out of range uh, projects as well, just to highlight that they fall outside of a certain threshold. Um, but in this case, I'll just click on Auto, uh, and I'll click on Legend. I can add a legend. Um, so this will be net margin. And um, I can choose to show the labels or not show them by clicking this uh, checkbox. I can change the interior font. So in this case, I see there's not a lot of contrast here, um, so I can't even 
make out what's in here. So I can change this to uh, maybe a gray value. Um, and then I'll close this. And then I can adjust the space between shapes. So right now it's at, at a value of 50. But if I wanted to um, close the gap uh, between shapes, I can do so over here. Um, so I can close this. And because these are just regular PowerPoint shapes, um, I can uh, move them around. I can adjust them after the fact. And if I ever need to get back to that dialog window, I can just click on uh, the infographic here and you'll notice these two gears appear. I could click on those gears and I can easily um, make any adjustment uh, that I want and then close the uh, window. And that is proportional area charts.